A Justice Sanjay Kishan Kaur led bench of the Supreme Court today called a meeting of the President of the Supreme Court Bar Association and other members of the SCBA along with the Judges Committee of the Supreme Court of India to devise a standard operating protocol for the hybrid hearings. Senior Advocate Vikas Singh uh, through the Supreme Court Bar Association had challenged the SOP put in place for the hybrid hearing stating that the bar members were not consulted for such an important document which mandates uh, hybrid hearing procedures and also gives an option for virtual hearing uh, for other lawyers. Senior Advocate Vikas Singh primarily contended that since the rules of the bar is about the lawyers, it should be the bar who decides the rules and not the Supreme Court registry. Uh, to this, Justice Subhash Reddy said that this is not the way to make an argument. However, Supreme Court today called for a meeting between the Judges Committee and that of the SCBA to iron out the issues with regard to the standard operating protocol. The similar bench of Justices Sanjay Krishan Paul and Subhash Reddy today stated that it would not be interfering in a batch of petitions which challenged the recent Delhi High Court order stating that it, there would be full-fledged physical hearings. However, virtual hearings will be there only for exceptional circumstances. Uh, the Delhi High Court order had also mandated lawyers to divulge their geographical locations for getting the virtual access to the courts. Advocate Nancy Roy stated that he has appeared before the Delhi High Court today and yesterday and that there were no physical distancing norms and that air conditioning was in full form and that there are no ventilation in the building and with lawyers do not have facilities to keep their laptops at designated places and that they have to keep the laptops on their feet. After hearing all these contentions, Justice Sanjay Krishan Kaul said that it would not pass directions in the case based on perceptions of a few lawyers. However, it stated that it expects the Delhi High Court to give virtual access uh, to lawyers in cases uh, wherein they are genuinely seeking for the virtual hearing and not for the sake of an adjournment. Justice Envy Ramana of the Supreme Court of India today inaugurated a COVID vaccination drive inside the Supreme Court premises by the Delhi government. The COVID vaccination drive will essentially administer the COVID-19 vaccines to the members of the Supreme Court Bar Association who are above the age of 60. Senior Advocate Vikas Singh and the President of the Supreme Court Bar Association was the first one to take the COVID-19 vaccine shot and was thereafter felicitated by Justice Envy Ramana. Well, today was the day two of the Maratha Reservation hearing where a five-judge constitution bench of the Supreme Court headed by Justice Ashok Bhushan heard a batch of pleas challenging the validity of the Maharashtra Socially and Educationally Backward Reservation Classes Act, which essentially grants educational and employment opportunities to the Marathas. Senior Advocate Sham Devan argued that the expressions socially and educationally backward classes or variations were not constitutionally defined until the 102nd Amendment. He further went on to argue that the expression in Article 16 Clause 4 of any backward class is wider in ambit than in Article 15 Clause 4 and Article 15 Clause 5. Senior Advocate Gopal Shankanarayan argued that in 30 years since Indira Soni, the lists that have been drawn up across states and centre are only on SEBC basis. He further argued that while Indira Soni majority says that there is a distinction between Article 15 and 16 classes on the ground for those lists, there doesn't appear to be a distinction. Gopal Shankanarayan also focused on the contention that there is no need to revisit the nine-judge bench judgment in the Indira Soni case. He argues that in Teralia, that it has not been explained how this judgment conflicts with that of Nagaraj and Vasant Kumar case. Well, that's all from Supreme Court today. Do stay tuned with Supreme Court today, tomorrow as well. And don't forget to like and share barandbench.com.